Hey guys, CJ here, PBX How To is going to start up this year. Actually, I have a ton of videos I've been working on um, between sickness and getting all my new gear. It's been a long winter, so call it a hiatus. All right, so let's get this kicked off with something I've been requested for. And definitely keep your requests coming in on things you want to see because that's how I make these videos is based on information you guys want. But in the meantime, I'll also be doing the basic videos on the Avaya Aura, as well as the IP Office, as well as something as anything else that I can find. All right, so uh, this one, quick and easy one, set up call forwarding. Call forwarding for your, us for, blah, 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 for your users. Now, call forwarding is a security item. Eh, eh, eh. Warning, warning, security item. Basically what that means is you need to be aware of when you turn on call forwarding and you're allowing people to call forward their phones off net, that opens up some toll fraud risks. So definitely review the toll fraud uh, document uh, that you can find on the Avaya support site, as well as talk to your uh, provider, whether it's Avaya or a business partner, depending on how you want to do that. But regardless of the fact, this is a pretty simple, uh, um, pretty simple feature to implement. All right. So here's my station, 1499. First thing you need to do is go into display feature access codes. And what you're going to find right here, right here, call forwarding, activation, all, and deactivation. I have mine set up in different codes because I've been changing codes every now and then. I use star seven for something else. So that's why it's not here. Now, typical or yeah, yeah, typical settings that you usually find is like star seven one and star seven two or star seven two, pound seven two, whatever you want them to be, okay? So you need to set your feature access codes. And if you don't know how to set those, Go check out my feature access codes video or the dial plan video to understand how to set those up, all right? So once you have these set up, you need to go in and check your class of service. If I do that right, uh, no, cause one, sorry. Display class of service. Now the things you need to have enabled in here, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna highlight them, but what you need to do is you need to see, where is it, call forward all calls. The class of service that you're going to give to someone that can allows them to call forward their calls has to have a yes. All right. So this allows the user with this class of service to forward their calls. Now they can forward their calls to just extensions. The way they need to be able to forward their calls off net is under restrict, uh, restrict forward off net. Now, as you can see, <laughs> if you don't want them to be able to forward their calls off net, this needs to be a yes. If you want them to be able to forward their calls off net, it needs to be a no, all right? So I right now have 15 and, uh, or fi under class of service 15, I have yes on call forward all calls and restrict call forward off net is no. So I can call forward my calls off net using uh, class of service 15. The other thing you're going to need is console permissions. And this console permissions allows you to define your call forwarding on any station, all right? Not just the dialing station. So be aware of this, you can turn this on or off, but you wanna be able to, to have a custom class of service that allows them to call forward all calls as well as restrict call forward off net is no. But I'm gonna use 15 for this example here, all right? So once that's done, I go into my station, 1499, and I go over here to my class of service and I enter 15, all right? Once that's done and I submit this, now my phone, 1499, I can call forward off net. And the way you do this is I would, I would pick up my handset or I would turn on the speaker phone and I would literally dial, uh, if, if it's, let's, let's say for instance, it's star seven one to turn it on. I would pick up my phone and dial star seven one. I would get dial tone. Then I would dial, let's say I wanna call my cell phone. I would dial nine one, I don't know, four, one, five, 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 one, two, one, two, and then it would ring. You just hang up, okay? Now your call forwarding is activated. Once, once you hang up the phone, you test it by calling from another extension or another station, and you're gonna see that it just, it rings quick and then goes right to your cell phone or whatever phone number you wanna call forward to. To deactivate it, you pick up your station. I would go to my station 1499, and I would dial uh, pound seven two, if that's what my deactivation code was, and you would hear the the, the three the three confirmation tones, and your phone is no longer forwarded. All right, 
That's it, pretty self-explanatory. Now let me show you something so you can tell whether or not a station is call forwarded or not. All right, now in here, uh, let's see, where is it? Where is it? I thought I had it. Oh. <laughs> All right, so now you want to be able to tell whether or not a phone is call forwarded. Let's say you have a user that calls you up and says, hey, Something's wrong with my phone, I can't answer it. Well, maybe their phone's called for it and they just don't remember. Well, here's a way to tell. You go into status station, and I'm gonna status my station, and you go to page two. And this isn't a 5.2, guys. So in page two, you're gonna see call forwarding. And here's your call forwarding information. You can see unconditional, internal, external. This will tell you where your call forwarding number is going. All right, this allows you to know where it's being call forwarded to. So if, it, if you have numbers in here and it's activated, then you tell her, hey, look, your phone's call forwarded. All you need to do is type pound 72 to deactivate it, and you're good to go. All right? That's it. Uh, any questions, comments, let me know. Um, I know you guys have been giving me some pretty good comments on the videos, and I appreciate that. If there's anything I miss or I screw up because I am human, uh, let me know, and I'll definitely fix it, annotate it, and maybe even make a new video. See? See how that works? Anyway, so, guys, keep your uh, suggestions coming in. I appreciate it. I love you for it. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching, and let's keep this 2012 going and looking what Avaya brings out this year. All guys? I will talk to you all later. I am gone. Goodbye.